Do you remember when you were given a sequence and you were trying to figure out the formula to get that sequence, but it just wouldn't come to you? I'm going to make your life so much easier by giving you a template to get that equation. Okay, but this particular template only deals with arithmetic sequences. So I think I should probably tell you what an arithmetic sequence is first. An arithmetic sequence is a type of sequence where the difference between the consecutive numbers is a constant. What does that mean in English? Okay, so here is an arithmetic sequence and uh, notice that it is going up by sixes each time we're adding. An arithmetic sequence is where you're going to add the previous term by a constant number every single time to get your next consecutive term. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use this example to explain the template. This TN represents your term value. Let's say, for instance, this 11 is the second term. So when my N or my term number is 2, I'm going to get 11 as my term value. Okay, now your A is your very first term in the sequence. And your D was that 6 that was going up each time. I also want you to note that if your sequence did go down, you could be adding a negative number, in which case your D would be a negative. Okay, so it is possible to go down as well. Now, let's just see if you do get the 11. So 2, your second term, minus 1 gives you 1. So this 1 times your 6 gives you 6. So this whole guy equals to 6 plus your first term, which was 5, does give you the 11. Okay, so it does work. Now the rest of the tutorial is going to be going over very common types of questions that you'll see. And the very first one is, here's a sequence. Give me the formula to describe the nth term. So that if I asked you for, say, the 12th term, you could use that formula and figure out what the 12th term's value is. Okay, so I put the answer down, but I'll go through it with you. They gave me a little bit of an arithmetic sequence, and they've actually told me that it was an arithmetic sequence. So unless they um, didn't give me any indication that it was an arithmetic sequence, I might not be able to use this formula. I'd have to use a different template. Okay, so I know my A value is 9 because that's the first number in the sequence, and it also looks like it's going up by 4s each time, and that's why I put D equals to 4. Then I just plug them into the template. So I'm looking for Tn. In, I guess you could think of it as your dependent variable. Your n is going to be your independent variable. And here's my 9 and my 4. Remember to put brackets around the 4. Okay, then you're going to do distributive property. And you get 4n minus 4 and then that 9 in the front. Then you're going to simplify. So you get your 4n. And then the 9 minus the 4 gives you the positive 5. So this is my formula altogether. It's almost like my x and my y. So that if they ever told me, hey, find out what y is when x is 12, then you're going to put 12 into the formula and you're going to figure out what your y is. So the 12th term is going to give you a value of 53. Okay, and there you go. Here's the equation and the 12th term. What if we were given, say, a recursion formula. They told us the first term, 5. They even told us the second term, 11. So it kind of looks like it's going up by 6s, but they didn't tell us any other terms. So we can't really say it is an arithmetic sequence. And if it's not, again, we can't use this formula. So what we have to do is we kind of have to maybe find one or two more terms just to make sure it is arithmetic. Okay, so what I did was I took this recursion formula and I decided to find T3. So I put T3 minus 1 right here, plus 6, and that gives me T2 plus 6, and I know what T2 is. It's 11. They gave that to me already. Okay, and I get 17. So here's my first term, my second term, and then my third term. So yes, it does look like it's going up by 6s, and we can say that it's arithmetic. Since it's arithmetic, we can then use the formula. So let's create an overall explicit formula that describes this um, sequence. Okay, so here's the first term. Your D is going up by 6s, so positive 6. And then again, we're just going to plug those into the formula, expand, 
and simplify, and we get tn equals to 6n minus 1. If we wanted to find the 12th term again, we're just going to plug 12 into our n, and then we're going to get our t12 value, which is 71. It's really easy to actually just plug this into our cal um, the calculator and just press equals a bunch of times after you add 6 and see if you do land on the 12th number as 71. Okay, so here's the next type of question. Given a sequence that ends, so they actually gave you part of a sequence and then the ending number, you might have to determine how many numbers are in that sequence. In other words, how many terms are there? Okay, so we know that this is the first term, and that's the second, and that's the third, but what is this? Like, what term number is that? I don't know. This is just a term value. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to figure out what we know. I know my a is right there, negative 3. It seems to be going up by the same amount, which is 5. Okay, and we can always do that by taking one of them, subtracting the one before it, and getting 5. I don't know what my n is. But I do know that this last term is probably my nth term. So this is Tn, my nth term's value. Here's my arithmetic equation. And I'm going to plug in what I know. So this is 152, that was negative 3, and this is 5. Then all you have to do is you solve for n. So do distributive law, and then simplify, bring the 8 over to the other side, divide by 5, and it's all simple arithmetic. Okay, so you're always looking for what was given to you, what are you trying to find? The last type of question is a little bit confusing to people, but it's not too bad once you get the hang of it. See, if you are given two random terms, you want to figure out what Tn is. So what is a formula to describe this sequence? they have to tell you that it's an arithmetic sequence because other than that you don't have enough information. So if you know that it's an arithmetic sequence you know that you can use these two formulas. Okay let's just deal with this one first. They've told you that the seventh term is 36. So that means that if my n is 7 my tn is going to be 36. I don't know what my a is because they never told us and I also don't know what my d is because um, they didn't tell us that either. So unfortunately, I have my a and my d still there. This is going to be called my first equation. Then I'm going to make another equation with this guy. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. So the 15th term, or when n is 15, I'm going to get a term value of 68. Okay, And I'm just going to simplify a little bit, get 14. And again, I still have a's and d's. This is going to be my second equation. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use grade 10 I guess math knowledge and I'm just going to do substitution or elimination. And I figure since uh, the a's are the same, there's no numbers in front of the a's, let's just do elimination. We'll just line them up. So we have a plus 6d like this and I decide to put the 36 on this side. And then I got a plus 14d and that's right there. I decide to do the 68 on this side and I subtract it. So then a minus a is going to be gone. I have no a's. 6d minus 14d, I get negative 8d. Equals 36 minus 68, and I get negative 32d. Then I divide both sides by negative 8 to get rid of that, and d equals to 4. That means that I know that each of my terms goes up by 4s. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start solving for my a. So I'm just going to plug it back into whichever equation I want. And I'm thinking maybe this one looks a little bit easier. It has smaller numbers. So I have a plus 6d, a plus 6, and I know my d is 4, equals to 36. So that's where that 36 comes from. And 6, 4 is 24, bring it over, and I get a is 12. So my very first term is 12, my difference is 4, and I can now create an equation. So I'm going to put 12 in for my a, because I have it right there. And we're not going to put anything in there because we just want a random um, explicit formula. And then we have our d, which is 4. And again, we're just going to expand and simplify. There's my explicit formula to describe this particular um, sequence.